We are live. Good afternoon. Happy New Year. And this is our Three Little Birds. Singing, don't worry about a thing. Because every little thing going to be all right. Singing, don't worry about a thing. Because every little thing gonna be all right rise up this morning smile with the rising sun three little birds a charm by the doorstep singing sweet songs a melody pure and true singing this is my message to you and that's all you're getting because today is about Gemma how are you, Gemma? Lovely to see you. Hello, Ashley. I'm why, fine did you, why did you pick that song? Oh, it's really emotional, actually. Um, so I picked it because it was one of the first songs that my mum sang to me when I was a little baby. And my mum, I'm lucky enough to work with my mum now. Um, and every time it comes on the radio, I can just hear her singing it. So it's like a lovely feeling, but also quite emotional because um, I know that I get to work with my mum. So, yeah, that's why. <laughs> Thank that's you. A, I know that's a, what a lovely, lovely story. And and, and I love how music, um, it, it just brings us all together, doesn't it? And everyone's got a, a, a different reason why they like a, a specific song or why they don't like a specific song. So, yeah, that's yeah. a lovely story. So thank you for picking that song. Um, I haven't kept tabs on the songs but that one is well requested it is well oh. requested so okay. Gemma welcome yes. how lovely how lovely to have you on today so um we're going to talk a little bit about LinkedIn and we're going to talk about guide dogs and stuff like that so uh, yeah tell us a little bit about yourself before we start Gemma yeah thank you so um yeah Gemma Connolly um I um, am the founder of Scoff Paper so we make edible greeting cards for dogs um and I'd like to say in my spare time but it is ultimately a, a full-time job as well as um I volunteer for guide dogs um so I'm what they call a puppy raiser um and I train the pups in the early stages of their life um, from sort of eight weeks to around 14 months. And then they leave me. I get really sad, um, but they ultimately go on to do the, the job that they were destined for. Oh, my goodness. That's amazing. How do you give them up at the end? Oh. <laughs> I'm on my 13th dog. That um, is incredible. 14th arriving on the 27th of January. I'm not counting down the uh, the days, but it's only it's uh, so it's next next uh, Thursday week. Yes, it's always, it's always a Thursday, isn't it? Yeah, Thursdays. Um, but yeah, cannot wait because um, it's been my first Christmas without a pup. Aww. Um But um, but yeah, so I'm just getting the house um, puppy proofed, shall we say? <laughs> So, so this is the first Christmas that you haven't had to worry about the decorations or the chocolates. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I can leave stuff around um, and there's no tumbleweeds of, of golden retriever and Labrador hair everywhere. It's very yeah, strange. It I don't like it. It does. It does. It does get <laughs> everywhere. So, so yeah, I, I, I was a bit flippant with my thing there, but um, obviously we, we, we're both puppy raisers. Um, yes. I'm, 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 a, I'm a starter compared to you. Um, but it is it is an amazing thing to do, isn't it? We'll, we'll, we'll probably go back there in a second. I've um, yes. got some questions about LinkedIn first because yes, uh, I love I love LinkedIn. Um, and I just wondered if you use any other social media as well as LinkedIn. Yeah, so I use um, LinkedIn for, for business um, along with um, Instagram, Facebook, and I am delving into TikTok um, from a business perspective. Um, help me. <laughs> and, no, 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 um... I, don't, I, don't, I don't do TikTok. <laughs> I do Tic Tacs, you know, when I want something yeah. nice, minty refresher. Yeah. But no, I haven't delved with um, uh, TikTok yet. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, from a business perspective, all of those. And then I've got um, a guide dog channel on Instagram, um, which has just been the history of all of my pups. Oh, um, I need to see that one. I need to see that one. Yeah. And fun things that we do. Um, so, yeah, 
yes in answer to your question i do use other channels yeah, let, me find, let me find this let me find this um guide dog thing and see if i can put it up on up on up on screen because that's that's what we did um when we had our first guide dog so we've got a facebook page because we didn't yes. do instagram back then so come on yeah. where, where will i where will we find your doggy yeah your doggy oh doing? it's just it's, it's called um on instagram it's called guiding gems oh just very clever very clever yeah i did see what you did there because you I don't normally do this, you know. Um, oh, G E M S. Guiding yeah. Gems. Uh, Guide dog pubs plus me. So if I grab hold of that, I think I can put that. I think somewhere here. Oh, thanks. <laughs> get get yes, you some I more think. followers. Hopefully that works. Um, Lee, <laughs> Lee, has, Lee has just said. Um, where is she? Lee has just said, "What an amazing niche." So yeah, we're going to find out a little bit more about that as well. Um, yeah, so so it, it, all this all this social media stuff. How often do you post on LinkedIn? Oh, not enough. You'll slap my wrists. Um, I'm not, I look, think... hey, hey, Gemma, Gemma, I'm not I'm not the LinkedIn <laughs> thing. It's fine. It's fine. You've got to do. You've got to do. You've got to do what you're comfortable with. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So at the moment, it's probably only um, a post a week maximum. That, um, that that one post a week, Gemma, is more than ninety nine percent of people on LinkedIn. Yeah. So yeah. it's absolutely fantastic. So well done, yeah. you. Yeah. So um, yeah, it's about a post a week, and then I spend a little bit of time interacting with people as well, um, following people, you know, in the industry, outside of the industry, entrepreneurs, guide dogs. Yeah. Um, well, that's how we I met. Yeah, I find that very useful as, as opposed to just putting content out there. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And, that, and that's what it's all about. It's all, it's all about connecting. Um, and in, in my training, I talk about LinkedIn as this great big networking meeting. You know, when yeah. you go to a networking meeting, you go, hi, how are you? Da, 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 da. You end up talking about dogs and probably end up talking about guide dogs and stuff like that. Um, and not business because you don't have to. And so yeah. you don't have to on LinkedIn. That's the thing. Yeah. Yeah. That's the thing. Yeah. And, so, so do you do you post about the guide dogs on LinkedIn? A little bit. Yeah. Um, well yeah, yeah, I do, um, and interact with with their channels as well, their pages, um, and then yeah, mainly about the business or you know my failings as well as the the highs, um, because I think that's you know I I can't be more real than yeah. I am, and I would never want to change that. Um, and hopefully that helps people because other people who do it, other entrepreneurs and small businesses, it really helps me. And I feel like I've got an arm around my shoulder sometimes. Um, you know, this virtual hug that you, yes, you need. Yes. Um, so, yeah, that, that's that's pretty much what I post. <laughs> no, fantastic. Uh, uh, look, we all relate to that. You know, I'm, I'm sat here in my shed trying to run my business and this happens like, oh i'm the only one that this is happening to but then i see yeah. your post like, oh I'm, I'm not abnormal this is what everybody goes through and this is yeah. the thing right if it's got to be it's, 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 you've got to be your authentic self and people relate with that and the other here's, here's the thing Gemma. if mm -hmm. people look at your post and think oh don't think much of her then they're, they're never going to work with you well, yeah. isn't that a good thing that they, they yeah. you don't want people like that to, to work with you, do you? You want people that yeah. love you and, and, and what have you. So, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, right, scoff paper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How, on earth, face, sorry. <laughs> how on earth did we come up with, so first of all, what is scoff paper? Yeah, so scoff paper is, um, it's edible cards for dogs. Um, so we basically make it from potatoes and there's different yummy flavours and it's a way of gifting your dog a card because we all do it. You, I'm sure you do as well, Ashley. Um, gifting a card to their dog and ultimately the card just goes either into the bin because it can't be recycled. Crazy amount goes into landfill um, or some of them can be recycled or they just go in a memory box but how good is it that you can gift a card to the dog and they can eat it and it's only 26 calories <laughs> fantastic <laughs> you are mad, uh, mad yeah mad but genius 
<laughs> Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Genius. So so how many cards do you sell? Are you allowed to tell us that? Yeah, it's, well, last year um, we sold just over 120,000. Um, so that was in our second year of trading. So, oh, um, right. oh yeah. you're very new. You're very new. Very new. Yes. Yeah. It was an idea at the, the back end of lockdown um, launched in November 2020. And is that is that because you, you, you looked at the calendar and you saw that it was Bob's birthday and you went to get some cards out and you found that the dog had eaten them all? Well, <laughs> a little bit. It was actually one of the guide dog pups first birthdays. Right. Um, so I've always bought the guide dogs uh, birthday cards. I've always scribed a huge message to them. They've always had to sit there, listen to me talk to them, read the message to them and then pose for a photo. So Loki, who I had at the time, he tried to eat this delicious paper card. Yeah. Not so delicious. Um, so I think that team with really wanting to do something for myself um, gave me that sort of light bulb moment. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> how does one come up with an idea of? Oh, why don't I make edible cards? That's, that's never been that's never been done, has it? No, no, it hasn't. Um, so, my background is is brand and marketing. Um, it isn't. Uh, manufacturing. Um, I've never run my own business. I've always worked for for agent ad agencies. Um, but I knew I wanted to do something more in the 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 pet space. I wanted to do something for myself, and I think I've always been this like frustrated creative that comes up with weird ideas at three o'clock in the morning, writes them down, and then when I wake up, I go. I thought I was going to take over the world with that idea. How ridiculous. Um, so I've been battling that for for quite a few years. Um, but yeah, I can remember just being being sat in my living room um, during lockdown and, the, and Loki tried to eat the card. So God knows what was going through my, my mind, but we did it. <laughs> fantastic i just put a banner up for you look frustrated creative <laughs> that's brilliant that is absolutely yeah. brilliant so how did you come up with because I'm, I'm glad you told me it was made from potato but how did you work out because i you know i've googled it there does no recipes for cards for dogs <laughs> no no so I, I suppose i just i spent quite a lot of time um looking into what ingredients would be natural what wouldn't be harmful to to dogs um what would be palatable um look into the industry hang on hang on hang on hang on hang on, hang on. What would be palatable? I don't know about you, but our Labradors, whenever they come, they will eat anything. Yeah, silly me. <laughs> what, what would what, be what palatable to dogs outside of the guide dogs, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, and then just started looking at different um, flavours, how I could make this something that could emulate paper, but obviously isn't paper. Um, so, yeah, made from spuds, as we say up north. Um, yeah, made from the, the skins of, of the potatoes. Um, oh, so so, it's, so it's, it's, a, it's a byproduct of other things, is it? Yes, yes, it is, which would normally go to, to waste. Um, so we do flavours like bacon, beef, chicken cheese, peanut butter, turkey at Christmas, chocolate at Easter. It's crazy. <laughs> Um, and I am glad to say that the majority of the dogs love the cards. So Fantastic. it's a nice feeling. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. And so do you how, how would I buy a scoff card? Are they are they in shops or is it all online? Yeah, so um both to be honest. So you can buy cards from our website, scoffpaper.com. Um we personalize the cards, we make and ship them within 24 hours. Um, or you can buy them from loads of different shops. So we're in about 250 independent stores across the UK. Wow. We're in the likes of Clinton's Cards. We're in uh, Pets at Home, Pets Corner. Um, and then we've now started trading in um, only a small amount, but we started trading um, in seven countries. So we're trying. We are all trying. In two, all in two years. Yeah, look at the state of me. <laughs> 
That's why you're poorly. Yeah, that, that, but that is incredible. That is absolutely incredible. What an amazing story. What Thank an amazing you. story. Um, so um, you, 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 you're, you're, you're poorly, and I know you're working from home today. So thanks for, for dragging yourself out of your deathbed. I don't, don't suppose you've got any cards there, do you? Um, I haven't actually. Oh, maybe I've got a look. Sorry, I, spring, yeah. I springed this on you, didn't I? No, it's okay. I would normally, like I said, normally be in the scoffice. So the scoffice? The scoffice? <laughs> Um, but this this is just one of the cards that we sell in Pets at Home. So it's slightly smaller than the premium cards you can buy in the independent pet stores and garden centres and online. Um, but yeah, that just gives you a little flavour of, of what we do. So this one's uh, Nash's Rashers, um, bacon flavour. Um, and yeah, the dog can eat the whole card. Um, bit of, yeah, bit of snazzy packaging. Um, that is brilliant. That is this absolute <laughs> genius. Absolute genius. So um, you say you personalise them. How, how, how do you mean by that? Is that like, um, like, like, can I say moon pig? I knew you were going to say moon pig. Sorry. No, no. Moon pig. Yay. Um, yeah, like moon pig. Um, yeah, I just don't have like half a million pounds in my bank at the moment <laughs> to uh, allow me to have the infrastructure um, to personalise as you go. So well, that, that, um, that's, a, that's a goal, is it? It is a goal. Yes, yes, definitely. And I'll, is. I'll tell you what, scoff is so much better than moon dog. Yes, thank you. Yeah, no, I, I love, I love, yeah. I love scoff. Who thank came you. up with that? Who came up with that name? Um, my partner, Matthew. Oh, well done, Matthew. Yeah, yeah. We we kept um we we keep everything, you know, like all the scribbles, the ideas, the first cards, prototypes, everything. And um all the scribbles of all the crazy names I was coming up with, and it was just like, no, no, no. And then Matthew said scoff paper. I was like, Boom. okay, then like I really wanted to come up with it. No, but um, but yeah, I think it's a great name. It's it's only a name. You came up with the idea. That's 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 the skill. That, that's the skill, isn't it? And that that is scoffishial. Hey, do you see what I did there? I'm yeah. gonna write that down. Yeah, no, no. Um, so you've got this. You've got this amazing business. You've got people. Um, it, it just throws them that they can buy a card and the dog can eat it. Can humans eat your cards? <laughs> they could. If they wanted yeah. to, so they are human grade. Um, yeah, so all the ingredients we use, yeah, suitable for humans. And when I've been at trade shows or like I did Crufts last year, um, people, humans were stood there eating them. Um, Fantastic. You never floats your boat, yeah. <laughs> yeah well, it's, it's, it's like it's like the, the idiot uncle that eats the dog treats, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, look at this, Ash. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Or you could share it like that. Is it 100? No, Lady and the Tramp, you know, share. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> um, so, guide dogs. Yes. Guide dogs. You've been, you've been, you've been doing it for guide dogs. No, so... And, and I've been doing it for five years, so we've got fifteen years' experience between us. And we we get we get a we get a little puppy. They they chew everything. We help them socialise. We take them walking. We do all kinds of things with them. And and then and then what happens is is the puppy snatcher comes on the Thursday and takes them away, and we all cry and it's horrible. Um, and then we yeah. get another one. And then we get another yeah. one. What got you into it, Gemma? Um. So I was working for a, a, an ad agency, um, say 11 years ago, and I got into some bad health. Um, so I'd had a heart attack. I had to like rethink, well, I wanted to rethink what I was doing um, because I was basically working crazy, crazy hours for somebody else, making money for somebody else. And um, so I think that was the reason behind wanting to have my own business in time. Um, but I wanted to take some time out. So I basically um, saved some money to allow me to do that and still pay my mortgage and my bills. Yeah, that, um, it doesn't stop, does it? No, no. And and I, I basically um, applied to, to be a volunteer for guide dogs. Um, so that's how I got my first pup. So I took 12 months out of work. I did a little bit of freelancing, um, but yeah, pretty much 12 months out of work, concentrated on that 
first delightful pup that turned into a teenager and rebelled against me and made me cry and then made me happy. Um, so yeah, that's how I got into it. Ill health um, and wanting to do something for me for a change. Yeah, yeah no, so, good for you. Good for you. So I, I take it you're in, apart from your, you've got the lurgy, which everybody's got at the moment. Oh yeah. Um, but yeah. Your, your, your health is, is, is good now. Yeah, um, all good. Got, He's called Jerry, Jerry the pacemaker. Brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> so he has birthday parties every year and we raise money at the Heart Foundation. Um, so, yeah, I probably show, should have uh, come with a warning, shouldn't I, that I'm not. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. I love I love that. I love that. I think that's absolutely brilliant. And and again, you, you know, you're, sh you're sharing the real you. And there's, pe there's people here watching watching this thinking I'm in a job that I don't like. I'm working too many hours. I don't want to be another Gemma I'm going to do something yeah. about it and and, and yeah. did, did you have dogs before Gemma have you ever have nope. you been a dog person never had a dog no, no never right. um, what never did, you, did you like did, did you like dogs yeah yeah loved them um but could never find a way to fit it into my life and make sure that I could put the dog first right and okay hang on, <laughs> hang on hang on hang on <laughs> never had a dog not sure how I could fit it in so I'll do guide dogs yeah i know crazy um but yeah best best thing i've ever done um, well it's, it's it's changed your life Gemma. yeah huge and, and, huge and out of those 10 how many have gone through to be bona fide working with with um our friends who are partially sighted eight eight fantastic because yes. because the, the stats it's two out of three isn't it so you've yeah. you've 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 swayed the stats there yeah. so not only not only has the dog and dogs changed your life but they've also changed eight other people's lives yeah which Absolutely. it's a miracle it's, it is a miracle isn't it it's, yeah. it, do, do you look at it as like an honor yeah hugely to be part, to be part of to be part of this great big machine that, that yeah. puts a dog with somebody with with you know visual impairment yeah and seeing it through the whole journey um mm -hmm. you know seeing the whole process should i say so i'm lucky enough to be in touch with a few of the the owners of the the pups that i've had and seeing how that it changes their lives and you know they they live exactly the same as we do um you know nothing stops um, and the dogs are there to, to support their life, really. Um, oh, and you also, the, I'm sure you've had it as well. Like, I get the blame for the dogs doing stuff wrong. You said you must have taught them how to do this. <laughs> I, 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 unfortunately, I haven't had much much connection with with the people that have had our pups, which is a, which is a real shame. So we've we've done we've done four, and three have gone on and done amazing things, and. Um, but that that's that's how it is, you know. You've got, yeah. you know, we, we and and we know that when we sign up for it, don't we? We do, yeah. That's the thing. yeah. Um, you say goodbye to them for that reason, don't you? When you know, when you tell me a story about your first dog, um, Ian. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what what the dog was called, but yes. um, but because they, yeah. they retire after a certain age, don't they? Yeah. So um, so Ian's due to retire. Um, and I've been asked to to um, look after him um, for the rest of his life when he retires. Oh, You're going to start <laughs> me off now. <laughs> so, and, uh, um, so yeah, it's an absolute honour to be able to to do so, that. So, Ian, Ian was your first pup. Yeah. That cha that changed your life. He's gone away. He's lived with somebody, changed their life, and um, yeah. because because guide dogs are all about the welfare of the animal, aren't they? Yes. Um, they've, they've now turned around and said, "Look, Ian's not allowed to work anymore. We need to put him with a family that are going to love him." Blah blah blah. And yeah. it, and it's going to be you. So you 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 started him, and and that and that's, be that's beautiful, Gemma. It's absolutely yeah. beautiful story. Yeah, yeah. So a very emotional, but. You know, oh yeah, yeah, you've got you've got me yeah. going, and I and I don't even like dogs. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah.
<laughs> but yeah, it's an absolute gift, isn't it, to be able to to do that again. So I'll never turn that down. No, 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 no. Um, Brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant. Oh, and, and you've also got another pup. Do you know the name of the new pup? Uh, yeah, he's called Leo and he's a Leo. handsome golden retriever. Oh, fantastic. They they always are handsome, aren't they? Yeah. They're, they're yeah. very, very well bred. Um, yeah. Pups, yeah, aren't they? They are. yeah. Gorgeous. Mm. So, and do you think do you think they've got a little air about them? Yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm a guide dog. Yeah. Oh yes. Yes, exactly. Especially Pro the golden demons. retrievers. Yeah. They're just like they're all just so sassy, you know, and uh want to be told how handsome or beautiful they are on a daily basis. So <laughs> I am going to do a show all about guide dogs. I've oh, just okay. made that up right now. Okay. So Great. you're coming, you're coming back. And if I can find a couple of other wonderful people like you that want to come and talk about guide dogs, we can talk about uh that on, on one of my shows because that would be that would be awesome. So you'd, oh, you'd be up for that, wouldn't you? Yeah, certainly. Yeah. Um, awesome. I would love to. Yeah, thank um, you. No, that's all right. I know no, we've gone over our 15 minutes. Sorry. I've got one last question for you, but before I ask that, I'm just gonna go and um find my guest for next week so that everybody knows who's coming next week um and i have got the lovely devia afwell she's a transformational career coach so she's going to come and talk about that and how she gets on on linkedin so we'll be talking with her next week um but to end up today um i'd like to know what advice would you give your 16 year old self Gemma? 16 year old self um i would say you're on the right path. That's what I would say. Um, and if I could just give a little tiny bit of context, like I've grafted from being 15 years of age, um, working in Debenhams. That was my first job, um, doing the window dressing. Oh, um, wow, so, that's cool. Yeah, so I got to do that from being so young and then working in ad agencies from 17. Um, and it was all it's all been driving towards what I now do and love. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I think, I think, yeah, that's it. Just keep, keep going. You're on the right path, love. <laughs> yeah. We get, we get there in the end, don't we, Gemma? We get yes. there in the end. Um, yeah. Thank you so much. You've been an absolute you. delight. And uh, I look forward to speaking to you soon. And, and thanks to everybody yeah. for watching. And we will see you soon. Cheerio. Bye-bye. Thanks, Ashley. Thanks. Get out what you put in.